Hey, what's up, Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. It's National Scams Awareness Week, a government campaign that's trying to make sure we don't get scammed out of our personal info or our money. And unfortunately, we need to hear it because experts say identity theft is up 55% this year. Here's Kale. Imagine waking up one morning and finding out someone is pretending to be you. Well, for about 24,000 Aussies so far this year, it's an unfortunate reality. Aussies have been spending a lot more time online and at home due to COVID-19, and scammers have been making the most of it. A new report's found we've been scammed out of more than $90 million this year alone. But how? Well, a common way is by pretending to be the government. Hello? Scammers contact people by phone, text or email and say that in order to give them the money they're owed, they'll need some personal details. The scammers can then use all of this info to do things like access bank accounts or take out new credit cards in that person's name. But that's just one type of scam. There are also fake competitions, people offering large sums of money if you just send them a little bit first, and dating and romance scams. So how do you protect yourself? Well, the best way is to be really careful about what information you share about yourself online or with others. It also pays to learn a bit about the different types of scams, so you know what you're looking out for. And if you're contacted by someone you don't know, question if they really are who they say they are. Hang on a second. I don't think this is the Prime Minister. New Zealand has postponed its election by a month because it's going through a second wave of COVID-19 cases. PM Jacinda Ardern says the delay is all about making the elections as safe and fair as possible. The new date, October 17th, will give New Zealanders more time to vote, which the government hopes will mean smaller crowds at polling booths. Now to sport, and there's been some big clashes, big slopes and big swims. Here's Charlotte. The red flag came out early in the Austrian MotoGP when Franco Morbidelli's Yamaha collided with Johan Zarco's Ducatis, ending their bikes cartwheeling through the air. Luckily, the two riders came out unharmed, but they narrowly missed several others on the track, including MotoGP legend Valentino Rossi, who said he was lucky to be alive and warned racers they need to be more careful. The situation was uh, very dangerous. Over in New Zealand, the Winter Games of Sidian has taken Shred and the Nar to the extremes. The comp started last week and competitors showed off some pretty impressive moves in the Big Air event and traversed some pretty epic slopes in the free ride. At the moment, Team Smoothie is topping the leaderboard, but there's still plenty of time for things to change before the comp wraps up on Thursday. Imagine swimming for 10 hours and 40 minutes straight. Well, that's what Aussie Chloe McArdle's just done by crossing the English Channel between England and northern France. Oh, and it's the 35th time she's done it. She's now taken over the men's record for the most crossings and has eight more swims to go to beat the women's record. Whew, I'm tired just thinking about it. Now it's time to play a classic game of Duck Duck Goose. Unfortunately, we're really short on geese, so we're going to call it Panda Panda Duck. The world's oldest living panda in captivity has celebrated its 38th birthday. Xinxing was handed a giant cake made especially for her. It's got all the good stuff in it, at least if you're a panda, like fruits and bamboo shoots and leaves. Staff at the zoo in China even sang her happy birthday. Xinxing is really special for another reason. She's a mum of 10 and has more than 153 descendants around the world. Meet the newly named Fan Xing, born at a zoo in the Netherlands. For now, the cub's spending all of its time with mum. It can't walk yet, but Fan Xing will hopefully make a public debut in October. Finally, it's duck time. And when I say duck, I mean a dog who just really, really likes ducks. His name is Kevin. His duck obsession is Instagram famous, and now it's earned him an invite from Clearwater Marine Aquarium. Why? Well, because one of their animals, Winter, a dolphin, loves them too. These duck fans definitely needed a chance to hang out and discuss all things duck. Oh, and for Kevin to have a nice swim. With a rubber ducky, obviously. Well, that's all for now, but make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, so you never miss out on an episode of BTN Newsbreak. Thanks for watching.